guys, it's Caitlin again. I'm trying to put out my next video for the um, Ipsy August 2019 bag. Um, I figure I'd go ahead and tell you all about it. Um, it is usually comes in one of these manila envelopes here. It's a $10 a month subscription. You get five items in your bag. And quite literally, you do get a little makeup bag every month. It's usually a different theme every month. This one's a little on the green side uh, with a little... I guess you call them studs. I don't remember what the exact word was for it, but yeah, I think it's studs with the zipper on top. This month's is a gold zipper. And then usually it's got like a pink um, silky inside, so to speak, uh, for your inside of the bag. Um, but this bag usually comes with five items. It's full size, travel size, and even sample size items too. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my bag for the August 2013, or 20, wow, hello, I'm way off, 2019 bag. I wish it was 2013. <laughs> yep, yeah, but uh, it also comes with a card that shows off the theme of this month, which is Bear Yourself. That's the theme this month. Um, usually something simple like that. And you, on the back of each card, you'll get the reminder about our add-ons that you can do at the beginning of the month, every month, that you have an Ipsy Bag subscription. Those items usually start at about $3 each month. Um, they, usually the sample size ones are $3, and then you've got the full-size versions of some of the items. Those are usually around $12 or sometimes a little bit more, depending on what you intend to pick out. Um, but yeah, that would be pretty much the ipsy bag portion all right so and in each pamphlet you'll get a brief list of all the items that you're going to be getting in your bag each month um, I of course have my five out already um, one of them <clears throat> it's actually something I'm actually kind of familiar with this brand uh, this is a Vasanti brush I don't know if any of you are familiar with it but this is a Vasanti brush this one's a little bit thicker than normal I'm used to like them being thinner or more pointed or angled or something like that, flat. But this one's kind of thick. Uh, this is supposed to be a concealer buffer. Um, haven't ever tried a concealer brush before, so this will be kind of interesting. Um, it is very soft and floofy. And it's like that charcoal gray with a kind of off charcoal colored furrow. Very nice and round and fluffy. No flyaways here. So that's my item number one. And my cat is probably back there playing with the screen. Hey, leave it alone, cat. Next item, which actually would probably make my husband very happy, is that's a really, really interesting segue there. <laughs> is um, nail polish. So you're gonna get, sometimes you'll get full size items of nail polish as well. So technically these are two full size right here. Um, so uh, this one actually has an expiration date, which is kind of nice, cause I'm that person who likes to collect nail polish and eventually never use it. And then it just sits there and dries out and gets all crusty and just, it, I need to use nail polish. Um, but the reason why I say about this one is because it actually kind of matches my fingernails almost. This one's got more of a pink tone, but this one's a little bit more nudie. Um, this is by uh, Color Club, and the color is nothing but a smile. So I'll be putting this on my toenails later today. That's if I don't switch over to the blue falsies. If these are falsies. I like these actually. I like them more than I thought I would. Uh, but that's item number two. My next item here is kind of one I've been kind of looking forward to. Um, I've been eyeing it in Ulta, um, but it is one of those, um, the jelly shot lips, where it's like a, literally a jelly lipstick. You've probably seen the tinted versions of them. I think it's either Frog Princess or I don't remember. I remember a sister had one like that, uh, where it was green and then you wear it and it tinted to pink. And I thought, ooh, all right, what magic trip or, trick are you doing? <laughs> Every time she put it on. That was, of course, back in, back when the last time I went to visit her in Florida. Um, but, yeah, this is by the brand Ink Redible. There's a little dot right there, Ink Redible. 
Um, this is in the, I, I can't say it's a shade because, you know, it's, it's, um, it's clear. <laughs> Uh, but it is in the name X Revenge, and I don't know if you could tell, but it's got a little, um, come on, focus out. It's got a little flower in there somewhere. It kind of reminds me of a, um, either a really, really tiny daisy or, or a lotus blossom. It's got a little flecks of gold in it. I do see that. Yeah, you can definitely see those flecks of gold. And then it baby's breath there we go that's the word i was looking for sorry former designer florist <laughs> yeah that looks like a baby's breath bud to me but that's just neither here nor there but this is their incredible jelly shot lip quencher it's a hydrator it's definitely just for hydrating it's kind of like a I hate saying it but it's a glorified chapstick <laughs> um anyway uh, next item down my list, ooh, is another one that I've kind of been looking forward to. I don't know if you, I've seen this brand floating around, and I've been always been like, hey, I want to try this, and I never get it in my BoxyCharm box, but Ipsy did me a solid this month, so this is Sol de Janeiro, the Coco Cabana Cream, sorry, Coco Cabana Body Cream, excuse me, Ipsy, okay, and it smells smells amazing um so it definitely has i don't know this is without me looking at the ingredients it kind of smells more like hazelnut to me but that's of course my former job at starbucks talking <laughs> i know the smell of hazelnut and that's hazelnut <laughs> it's not cocoa that's hazelnut right there <laughs> mm. that's a macchiato waiting to happen Oh man. Oh wow. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I've I've been looking forward to this one. I'm kind of hoping it's as good as everyone says it is. I'm I'm used to seeing like the yellow tub. Like the big yellow tub, like well boom, huge. But it's just like it's supposed to be like hydration. An instant rush of hydration for a visibly luscious skin and lasting moisture. So, yeah. Me and my hubs are going to be trying this out because he actually has this problem where he gets dry skin really easily. So, we got to keep a lot of lotion in the house because of that. <laughs> Not that we're complaining. <laughs> and the very last item is by Suva Beauty, which I've never heard of them before. Um, so, this is a first. And it's an eyeshadow. And let me go ahead here. The color, the color says coriander. But when I'm looking at it, when I think coriander, I think like this bright, bold yellow. That color that I'll probably never wear, but maybe we'll experiment with one day. Yeah, no. This looks creamy. This looks like a creamy, uh, off-white yellow tone to it. Definitely has a little yellow in it. This light kind of doesn't do it justice, really, but this is, I guess it kind of does it justice. It's right about correct. But the interesting thing about this one is that this is a hybrid eyeshadow. It's a cream and powder. So I'm going to go ahead here and rub that a little bit. This is really the only makeup heavy item in this bag, per se, other than that lip gloss and the the concealer buffer but that's neither here nor there but mm. okay yeah this light does this better justice yeah it kind of you can tell I'm white <laughs> it kind of blends in with my skin um yeah ah. yeah it's definitely one that I would play with probably maybe a, a corner a corner um it's really like a golden pearl, um, but it is, I would imagine, I could, it's supposed to be like easy to apply, opaque, and water resistant, and I'm going to have to say it's probably a good corner piece right here. I bet if I tucked it right here, it would look just fine with my makeup, no questions asked, so, but yeah, that's, that's all my items. I think this is a full-size eyeshadow. 
Now that I think about it, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe their eyeshadow is huge. I'm gonna have to do a little research on this brand. Um, they got the bunny on the back, so that says something about the brand. Actually, most of these items are usually, usually um, cruelty free. Um, so if these, if it, so if that's your beef, you like your items to be cruelty free. Ipsy's really good about making sure that your items are cruelty free. I'm gonna have to research these other brands and see, but um, but yeah, it's my entire bag for August. Um, um, I'll be honest, I'm kind of surprised this is a little light on the makeup because normally I'm just like, stop giving me makeup, stop giving me makeup. But today it's like, oh, it kind of kind of laid off a little bit this month. So, but hey, got a nice little birthday present out of the mix. August is my birthday month. Of course, it's not till later this month. So, <sighs> so those of you who are fellow August babies, celebrate with me because I got this one. <laughs> um, but anyway, I am going to go ahead and let you guys go. And you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching my video. And ciao.